Thank you so much to Marvel Snap for sponsoring the video. More on them later on. Omori Pink Tinted Love is a short but adorable mod with no combat or huge stakes that ships Sunny and Aubrey together. I didn't know what to expect from a story like this at first, and considering it was dealing with shipping, I thought it'd feel way too fanfiction-y for me to take seriously. While there definitely are moments where Pink Tinted Love veers too much in the direction of headcanon, and sometimes even the supernatural, like a talking ghost or Basil being interested in women, it is for the most part a well-written and surprisingly faithful adaptation of these characters and demonstrates the creator's understanding of Basil Mori's writing style. I played through the whole thing on stream and took my time trying to prod all optional dialogue and content out of this story. It ended up being something that I didn't really know that I needed. With how doom and gloom some of these fan projects can get, it was a relief to experience something more hopeful, more upbeat, and just cute. The plot isn't finished right now, but a part two is confirmed to be coming, and there is a substantial amount here already. Things start off familiar enough with Omori's opening cutscene and the slow white space pan down, but how you access the mod in-game is kind of interesting. Pink Tinted Love doesn't just outright replace the main story of Omori like a lot of other mods do. Instead, white space spawns with a pink pinwheel that you have to interact with to get to the new storyline. It's a small thing, but I thought it was kind of neat. Sometimes you still can't believe they forgave you. Ooh. It's making this mod's making some bold. Some bold assumptions. You know you have a history of delusions, but you can't shake the feeling that this sounds like a date. The mod starts you off outside of Other Mart, with Aubrey waiting for you by the fountain. Before talking to her, I interact with some side characters, just to see what else there is to do. After taking a moment to catch up, Sunny and Aubrey hit up the local area. You tapped Aubrey on the shoulder. What? Sunny? When did you... I was just thinking out loud, Damn it. Caught me off guard. Let me start over. Welcome back to Faraway, Sunny. I don't want to. I don't want to come off too strong. She and you nod your head. There's actually a small moment I really enjoy in this mod where they bond over space boyfriend lore and it's just really cute. Like they actually go in depth on some stuff and it's obvious they're both passionate about it. Neither has to hide their geeky side or anything like that. They're just completely open. With this in mind, Sunny and Aubrey are probably both avid players of Marvel Snap. I was absolutely delighted when I was approached about integrating this game into one of my videos. I've been playing Marvel Snap since it launched in October of 2022. It combines the perfect blend of simplicity and depth, presenting mechanics that are easy to understand but bottomless as far as mastery. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this game through one of the amazing animated trailers that have come out since its launch. Seriously, these things are insane. Put simply, every match has three different locations you can vie for control over and they drastically change your approach to winning. To win, you simply have to control at least two of them by the time the match is over, which is done by having a higher power number than your opponent. At any moment, you can snap to double the amount of points you earn when winning, but be careful as doing this also means you'll lose twice as much as well if you don't come out on top. The current season is all about Deadpool and Wolverine. If you're running a destroy deck, Deadpool is perfect since each time he's destroyed in the field he returns to your hand with double the power. There's a new limited time game mode where you can earn more than 30 rewards, including Cassandra Nova, a brand new card. In addition, there's also Alliances, a long requested feature that's finally here allowing you to team up with friends and complete challenges together. Use my link in the description to download Marvel Snap. There are Deadpool-themed login rewards between July 26th to August 4th, including a unique Headpool variant. Thanks again to Marvel Snap for sponsoring the video. After gushing about Marvel Snap, Aubrey and Sunny take a stroll through Other Mart and run into the one, the only, Babel. Oh no, it's Basil. Sunny, you're back. Obs is with you already. It's Babble. The profile picture of every bad opinion. Fittingly, his first appearance is in the greenhouse section of the store. Very nice. Sunny and Basil catch up for a bit, and it's revealed that Kim and Basil are kind of a thing now. Apparently, there's a fair amount of Omori fans that ship them, but I'd never heard of it prior. Seems like it'd be cool, though. There's an obvious recurring theme and pink-tinted love of just love in general. Many NPCs are getting together, or are at least trying to. On top of what we've already seen, there's side quests involving characters from the main game. Even Kel makes an appearance dating that blue hair 
red-haired girl everyone ships him with. Most moments in the story are light-hearted, almost feeling like a side story, but things take a turn for the somber as, like many Omori mods that are emotional, we visit Mari. I need to address something here. I know there are already moments in this story that feel fanfiction-y, Sunny talking, how good everyone's doing after the ambiguous ending. It almost feels like headspace in and of itself, right? Like it's too good to be true. I can get past Sunny talking. I can get past the overly optimistic interpretation of the game's finale. I can even buy Basil dating a woman, but I cannot get past Ghost Mari talking to us. Yes, it's tempting to revisit her to give some closure to other characters, but there's already so much good closure in this mod. Basil's doing well, Sonny pulled a pink punk GF and was even forgiven by his friends. I don't think it's a nitpick, just seeing Mari as a ghost in Far Away was a lot. Oh wow, she's actually talking. After visiting Mari, we retire to the swing set in the middle of the park. The date, if you can call it that, is coming to a close, which means it's time to speak now or forever hold their peace. Both of them concede they enjoyed their time together and even say they've always had feelings of being more than friends. What you're about to see could be considered emergency comfort food for all the Sunburn fans that were left damaged after reading the manga. They, they are a pretty cute couple, though. I think it was worth Mari dying. No special friend, but now that we're older, I also started to think of you as something else. <laughs> Close your eyes for a bit. Yeah, he's good at that, isn't he? Aww. Either way, Sonny and Aubrey eventually find themselves at a get-together in Kel's house, and it's here that they tell everyone they're dating. Some of the dialogue here is disgusting levels of cute, I'm not even going to lie to you. Still a little lightheaded from earlier. Oh. I'm so happy that it's a little hard to work. That is really goddamn cute, holy shit. Also, there was a moment on stream where I misspoke, and chat gave me a hard time about it. I missed a lot what happened. Sonny and... Sonny and Mari kissed, but it took like an hour and a half to do. Oh, no. I didn't mean... <laughs> I didn't mean Sonny and Mari kissed. I meant Sonny and Aubrey kissed. Don't, uh, don't get excited. This isn't that kind of mod. I'm not brave enough to play mods like that. There is one more scene in Pink Tinted Love, but before I talk about it, I want to say that this story really caught me off guard. Like I said before, I didn't know what to expect, but after I let myself enjoy the lower stakes story for what it was, I did end up really caring for Sonny and Aubrey's dynamic. I'm sure a lot of that character work is built off the base game and not the mod necessarily, but I still enjoyed it and think they carried on their character arcs well, even if parts of it aren't as believable as others. Pink Tinted Love really Thank came so out of nowhere, Marvel shadow dropping in the middle of the Omori the modding scene, than... and not too far off from Reverie Chapter 3 at that, but I do think you should make time to play it yourself and do all of the optional content. It's great, truly. <laughs> A room slowly fades in. It's been two years since Aubrey and Sonny started dating, and she's planning to visit him in college. Sonny's even sporting a new hairstyle too. If you didn't know any better, you'd think you're stuck and don't know how to proceed, but this is just where things end. Like, this is where development stops, there's no credits or anything, they still need to continue this part. Imagine that, just ending things so abruptly.